Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In today's video, we are going to discuss about an interview scenario that was asked in General Mills. So that is creating a butterfly chart. So this is not only important from you know your interview perspective, but this is also important from your real time implementation perspective. Because many times we might get a situation where we might get an opportunity to use this type of chart. to cater the uh, you know user need or business need so let us get started without wasting much time if you are new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so to do this what i am trying to do is i am trying to show a current year sales and previous year sales on a two side by side and for any dimension okay so i'll be considering sub category as my dimension you can choose whatever you want so our first step is to create sales for current year and previous year so here my intention is whatever the maximum year that is available in my data set that i am considering it as my max year or you can also hard code whatever the maximum year that is there in your data set for your current year so but i am writing through that uh, writing that using a calculation here if my year of order date is equal to i'm using this calculation tell me what will this return max of year of order date so what is this called as first thing okay so you can write down in the comment section and tell me what will we call this or what is the type of lod we call this so this is a table scoped lod you know function which will give us or which will return us the maximum year that is available in the data set okay and if that year is matching with our order date then we need sales simple and i am ending it i am not considering any other order dates click on apply and okay simple same likewise i am just duplicating this to create sales for my previous year and i am just writing it as previous year sales let us remove this and i'll just write minus 1 so now what will happen whatever the maximum year we are getting from this you know calculation i am doing a minus 1 for that which means i'm going back by one year okay that we are doing here so rest will remain same so let us check that i'm taking my order date into my view okay or wherever i want i'll just take it here so if i write current year sales So it is giving sales for the maximum year, which means it is working according to our expectation. Same likewise, if I take my previous year sales, it is giving for twenty twenty one. Perfect. It is working absolutely according to our expectation. Now I want to create a chart on top of these things. So I'll remove all of them. I'll uh, so here I am doing a small you know updation for my previous year sales. I'm just adding a minus here so that you know. and now i can put or generate this values on the other side of the axis so i'm taking my cy here we got sales and i'm taking my py sales i'll drop it on my axis so that it creates a a side by side like this something like blended axis here i'm doing that okay now what i'm doing is i'm taking this measure names and i'll add it to color okay so we have two colors here okay so now what i'll do is i'll try to add a sub category here we got at a sub category level so this is your simply your butterfly chart but i still want to customize this i want to display sub category name here but if i do here you see the problem statement i'm getting on the two sides i don't want that to happen i want it at one level so to solve that i'm simply taking a dummy field called as average of 1 and i'll put it this something like this and i'm just clicking on this and i'm making it as a dual axis okay and uh, now from here i'll remove it from color shelf i'll go to all marks tab and i'll make it a bar chart this is how we got now you know we need to settle this in our average field i'll go there and i'll make it as a text here okay other than that what we need to do is we need to synchronize the axis i'm clicking on this synchronize the axis we got it at the center of the screen now okay now i'm taking i'm going to this 
average of one, I'll take my subcategory and drop it here. That's how we can create uh, a simple butterfly chart and use it in our real time purpose. So that's it from my side in this video. I hope you find this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.